Yes, sir. You too. What's happening with it, man? It's your boy Travi J. Back at you with another video. Hope everybody's feeling good, feeling great, man. It's a beautiful Saturday around my way, and we needed it, man. You know what I'm saying? After all the rain and me being sick last week, man, I needed something to kind of lift my spirits, man. So the weather is beautiful today, and it was so beautiful that I decided to bring y'all the own feet today. And if I'm honest with y'all, I wanted to have this video out like Tuesday and Wednesday, you know, earlier this week, man. But like I said, you know, the rain wouldn't let me be great. That cold I had wouldn't let me be great. So I'm finally bringing it to y'all today, man. I did not forget about y'all, man. And uh, yeah, here we are today. So what I want to do today, I want to kind of do like a release recap of the Air Jordan 1 Satin Breads that released this past Wednesday. And just kind of talk to y'all and kind of figure out why the shoe didn't move like that? Because if I'm honest with y'all, man, I panicked when I saw that this shoe was releasing because it was like, okay, I knew it was a must cop for me by any means. You know what I'm saying? I knew I had to have this shoe. And that's mainly the reason why I went ahead and grabbed these up early. You know, had I known that, you know, this shoe wasn't gonna move like that, I would have just waited and paid retail price for them. You know what I'm saying? And speaking of which, I actually got exclusive access on this shoe. So, you know, when I actually got exclusive access, I was like, man, why did I pay resale for these shoes? But hey, man, you win some, you lose some. It is what it is. I didn't know that I was going to get exclusive access on this shoe. And, you know, who would have known? But that's just how it is, man. You know, sometimes, you know, had I not went and got the shoes early, I wouldn't have got the exclusive access. Y'all know how it is sometimes. But y'all talk to me. Let me know that y'all go after this shoe. Uh, for the people that could wear them, I know that they did not have extended sizes on these. I think the biggest size was a 12W, which is equivalent to a 10.5 in men. So, Big Foot Gang was out of luck with these. But for the people that could wear this shoe, talk to me. Let me know that y'all actually go after this shoe. And was it a must cop for that matter? Because, uh, as y'all know, uh, the Royal Reimagine just got uh, exclusive access sent out uh, on yesterday. And it's just like... You know, nobody was talking about those. Uh, I heard those sat around for a little bit as well. So it's just kind of like, are we really seeing the end of the Air Jordan 1 silhouette as we know it? Because it's just like, you know, two, three years ago, Satin Breads would have been out of the door. Royal Reimagines would have been out of the door. They These these shoes would have dropped at a $350, $400 price range. You know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of like, man, like Jordan 1s really ain't it no more. But that's cool because me, I love them. I'm, I love my Jordan 1s. I'm still going to cop no matter what. I don't care about resale. I don't I don't care about the hype. You know, I just care about the shoe and the silhouette itself. So if it's a dope colorway, I'm copping. Regardless of what everybody else thinks and how everybody else feels about it, your boy going to be copping them. You know what I'm saying? But real quick, let's go ahead and take another look at them. And yes, sir. You know, I don't see how people would pass on this shoe. Um, I mean... Other than the fact that, you know, it wasn't for everybody, you know, as far as sizing goes, but I would have thought that this would have been an instant hit, instant sellout. You know, people would have been, you know, trying to cop multiple pairs of them. And honestly, I ain't going to hold y'all. When I first saw images of this shoe, I thought about doubling up on them. But then I thought to myself, it's like, bro, you got... You know, OG breads, you've got the uh, patent leather breads, you got Chicago's, you got OG black toes, you've got uh, lost and found um, bread toe ones. So it's kind of like, how many more black, red, and white shoes do you need? And I mean, that's just to name a few. I probably got more than that as well. And you know, at this point, I got to be careful and be real selective when it comes to stuff like that, especially when it comes to doubling up on shoes. You know, I just don't need them. I don't get to wear my shoes as it is. So, you know, when it comes to doubling up, that's why I kind of just stick to the OGs when it comes to doubling up because like shoes like this, I'm hardly going to wear it anyway. So it's just like, it's no point in me doubling up on it. I, I don't need but one pair because this is not an everyday shoe anyway. So, but just taking a look at it, man. I mean, it's a very beautiful shoe in my opinion, you know, with the satin hits on it. And um, by me saying it's not an everyday shoe, these can get messed up really, really easy. I mean, if they get the wrong stain on them, they get, uh, you know, any moisture or anything like that. They get nicked the wrong way and, you know, the threads start coming out. It's going to be a bad day for you. So, you know, now with all that being said, that may be, you know, a reason why somebody would want to double up just for that reason. Just in case anything happens to your first pair, you got a pair on nice as a backup. But, you know, 
like I said, it's just, I'm not gonna be wearing these anywhere that that could potentially happen anyway. I mean, this is gonna be somewhere where I'm just kind of sitting down most of the time anyway. I'm not gonna be doing a lot of walking in these. So, you know, it's just things like that that go through my head, you know, when I think about, you know, wearability and, you know, why do I need to double up? Like, these are questions I gotta ask myself now when it comes to me buying shoes and doubling up and stuff like that. It's like I say to myself, Trav, how often are you gonna wear this shoe? Um, where are you gonna wear it to? You know, the purpose, you gotta have purpose and reasoning behind this stuff. When it gets to a point where you got so many shoes, you really, really gotta ask yourself all these questions. It's like a checklist. You gotta check all the boxes, man, and make sure the purchase actually makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But uh, overall, like I said, I'm definitely happy with this purchase. I wish I would've kinda waited a little bit, man, and, and, and got them for retail because these were not hard to get at all, man. And surprisingly, you know, Hey, these set, you know, I, I never would have foresaw that coming, man. So it's to the point now I can't even really make a real prediction on these shoes anymore because the stuff that I think is going to sell out instantly, it sits. And the stuff that I think is going to sit, it sells out. So it's just like I'm all over the place at this point. I don't know what's going to happen. And uh, but hey, I got my pair. You know, I just pretty much at this point, if I know I like the shoe, I'm going after it. And that's that. I, I really can't even. I don't want to put false information and false narratives out there to y'all at this point because I really don't know. You know, best advice I could tell you is if you like the shoe, do what you can to grab it because we don't know. I guess it's safe to say predictions really don't matter anymore because it's, you just never know. You just never know. You never know how many pairs are going to be made. None of that information matters anymore. It's just, like I said, if you want the shoe, do your due diligence. Do your best to go out and get the shoe because it could sit or it could sell out, you know what I mean? But uh, but all in all, y'all, like I said, I'm definitely happy with this purchase. Scale of one to 10, I gave these a clean 10 out of 10, man. I mean, perfectly executed shoe in my opinion, perfect materials, uh, quality is amazing on these, and uh, Jordan Brand did a really good job on these. I, I must say, uh, they were like, like I said, they were executed perfectly. I would have thought that, you know, the way we get shoes sometimes, I would have seen some nicks here and there, but they really did an excellent job with the uh, satin breads, man, you know, for a shoe that's, you know, $3,000 for a number pair, you know, and I'm pretty sure, man, people that spent, you know, that money on these shoes, they punch in the air right now. They sick, sick to their stomach, man, because they literally gave us the same shoe, literally gave us the same shoe, man, and, you know, the number pairs are just $3,000, and this is a $180 shoe, so, but hey, man, that's how the game goes sometimes, man, it's a dirty game, you know, when it comes to these sneakers, you just never know what's gonna happen, man, it's, it's, it's a dice roll, you know what I mean, but, uh, that's pretty much all I got to say about these, I mean, like I said, at this point, y'all, you know, shoes are unpredictable, the sneaker market is down, so, uh, if you want those grails, now is a perfect time to be a sneakerhead and also go back and pick up those grails that you've been, you know, wanting to pull the trigger on. I got my eye on a few myself, so every year, you know, if you're new to the channel, y'all know I always pick up a grail every year for either my birthday or for Christmas. Since my birthday does fall in December, I try to go ahead and pick up a grail, man. You know what I mean? Like I said, uh, whether it be my birthday or for Christmas, just depends on how much money we talking you know what i'm saying because i do gotta you know take care of everybody else for christmas as well but um yeah i mean it's uh it's between two shoes right now i narrowed it down and uh it's between two shoes right now so i'm definitely gonna purchase me a grail man spend some money and uh you know i'm probably gonna regret it later but you know i try to that's my way of knocking out all my grails and knocking all my grails off the list you know what i'm saying i try to do it year by year but other than that y'all that's pretty much all i got to say on these y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think about the current state of the sneaker market man as far as like you know shoes just sitting and things like that it's not a bad thing it's definitely not a bad thing um people are actually able to get the shoes that they want now and um it's a good time to be a sneakerhead, you know what I'm saying? So, I hope everybody that wanted a pair of these was able to cop. Should have been an easy cop for the most part, man. From what I saw, you know, these sat, you know, for the uh, early part of the day, man. And uh, they kind of slowly sold out, you know, later on that day on release day. But uh, should have been a fairly easy cop, man. I mean, they ended up selling out. So the people that did want them, they pretty much went after and went after them and got them. So if you were one of those people, I truly hope you were successful in picking these up. 
But anyway, man, I'm gonna go ahead and slap these guys on feet, give y'all some up close and personal visuals of this shoe, man. Let y'all see how fire they are on feet. And as always, I appreciate y'all for tuning in, checking out this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to check out my videos as well. I'm out of here, man. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day. But before I go, I just wanna let you know, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So always put your best foot forward. And on that note, y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay fresh. And I'm going to see y'all on the next one. All right? In a minute.